highlighting the importance of cracking down on the menace of black money and corruption and eliminating safe havens for economic offenders. Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized on the need to act against financial corruption. The Prime Minister also called for further strengthening of the global financial safety net. Here are all the details. Countering corruption, black money and ensuring sustainable growth through collaborative action were Prime Minister Narendra Modi's thrusts during his interventions on day two of the G20 summit in Hangzhou. The PM said fighting corruption, black money and tax evasion were key to effective financial governance. The mantras he shared included the need to act to eliminate safe havens for economic offenders, tracking down and unconditionally extraditing money launderers and breaking down the web of complex international regulations and excessive banking secrecy that harbor the corrupt and their deeds. Zero tolerance for corruption and black money, zero administrative policy and treaty loopholes, zero barriers and full commitment to action were his other prescriptions to tackle black money. For better global economic and financial governance, Prime Minister Modi laid stress on a stable global economic and financial system to ensure growth. He said capital requirements under new regulations should not raise the cost of finance. IMF should remain a quota-based institution and not depend on borrowed resources. The global financial safety net should be further strengthened. In the session on robust global trade and investment, the PM began by saying global trade is at crossroads but went on to elaborate how it can be moved forward to everyone's advantage. He said vision of open, inclusive and rule-based global trading architecture should underpin collective efforts. He stressed full implementation of Bali and Nairobi ministerial decisions for trade facilitation. He added that global trading regime must respond to needs and priorities of developing nations. He highlighted India's priority to work on trade facilitation agreement for services. He also said G20 needs to act to stimulate investment flows and added that global investment principles should allow policy space to countries depending on national circumstances and development focus. At the working lunch on inclusive and interconnected development at the summit, the PM said that the goal to put everyone on the path of development is not just aspirational. He highlighted his government's national initiatives that range from poverty elimination to encouraging entrepreneurship and innovation. How Agenda 2030 could be an enabler to transform societies and bridge deep inequalities. He laid out specific actions the world can take through collaborative action in the next 15 years as well. The PM took up the issue of climate change in the last session on other issues affecting world economy, where he stressed the need to safeguard climate justice, saying focus should not just remain on ratifying the Paris Accord, but ensuring full success. See, from our side, anyway, one thing that the Prime Minister has very much emphasized, and, and we therefore uh, got it included in the communique, uh, 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 has to do with the energy conservation uh, uh, through lifestyle changes. Uh, so, meaning, meaning that, you know, uh, uh, in, in our own use of energy, we can be much more careful uh, when somebody is not in the room, turn off the lights. Turn, uh, if somebody is not in the house, then turn off the air conditioning, turn off the heating, that sort of thing. So, that, that has been Prime Minister's uh, 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 agenda and thinking, and we did bring it uh, to the G20. Collective, coordinated and targeted action was a common theme through the PM's prescriptions during the two-day G20 summit. He also highlighted all the efforts that India is making to nurture its growth aspirations through improved financial systems, boosting domestic production and infrastructure investment, apart from creating a pool of human capital. So all in all, G20 summit this time around focuses on economic development, which is inclusive in nature so that everybody is benefited. With camera person Anil Khanna, Arun Sharma, Doordarshan News, Hongshu.